Hey Virgos, going to do your general reading. This will be a general reading for the sign of Virgo. Okay, so keep that in mind. It's for the Virgo Collective. Uh, might not resonate for you. Take what you can. Leave the rest. Energies can be flipped. Okay. Uh, going to start out with a few oracle cards. All right, and then I will do uh, your reading after the oracle cards also my readings are timeless so when you find this video that's when you're meant to find it all right when you find it you're made uh i should say the message is is made to find you because you need that particular message at that time all of my info is down below in the description box I do offer personal readings. You can find the info for those on my website, which is linked below, also in um, the description box, okay? So let me go ahead and get started. Spirit, what do we have for Virgo, please? Messages for Virgo. Let me have a few Oracle cards. Thank you. Messages. That one was forceful. Eagle Spirit. This one is about freedom. I pulled that one yesterday, I believe, for some some other uh, reading. Oh, I haven't had this one. Butterfly Spirit Transformation. You know, uh, butterflies are symbolic for transformation. They start out, you know, in the cocoon uh, and then turn into gorgeous butterflies. Maple Spirit, Generosity. And Wood Nymph, Beauty. That one's kind of interesting. Maybe you don't feel you're beautiful enough. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is supposed to be about. It's, it's, I think it's related to a, um, you know, your energy, earth energy, nature, um, you know, living within nature. Okay. So I'm going to be using Crow Tarot, and I'll be clarifying with the Radiant Wise uh, deck over here, okay? I'm going to take a look into your past energies, current energies, and future energies as well. Well, that was forceful also. Eight of Cups wanted to come out. What else do we have? Spirit messages for Virgo. Wow. Cards are kind of crazy tonight. These crows are talking. Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. What else, Spirit, for Virgo? The Hangman. Messages for Virgo, please. Mmm, Ten of Cups. Messages for Virgo. My cat is into something, I swear, every time I'm going to do a video. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Pentacles. Three more, please. Spirit, what does Virgo need to know? I almost had it when I... I almost caught it. <laughs> Page of Wands. It might have been reversed. I'll just take it in the upright. Okay, my gosh. These crows are just... They're flying. No pun intended. Yeah, there was a pun intended. Eight of Swords, the Hermit. What's your overall energy? Ooh, your overall energy is Nine of Cups. So you have Nine of Cups overall energy, Eight of Cups, Ten of Cups here. A lot of emotional energy going on for you right now, Virgo. Okay, overall energy, Nine of Cups. What else do we have? Ace of Swords. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Here font in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse. Coming in right next to the Hierophant in reverse. 
going to have to get to your love reading, Virgos, and see what this is about. Getting over some, uh, some heartbreak, maybe getting over a past relationship. This would be a long-term relationship, perhaps a marriage. And now it looks like you're starting with, with new energy. A lot of newness here as well. Uh, Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Swords, okay? Two Aces. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, you know, time and effort, material things. Ace of Pentacles, I mean, Ace of Swords is about the truth. Uh, new ways of thinking, new ideas. Okay, so in your recent past, you have the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Page of Wands. Ace of, Ace, I don't know why I do that. So Eight of Cups, this one here typically speaks of walking away from emotional baggage walking away from emotions that don't serve a purpose anymore okay hang on one minute I gotta, oh i gotta move this light a little it's right in my face okay Whew. um it speaks about walking away from emotions that don't really they're not doing us any good okay so it's kind of strange so i don't know <laughs> it's you may have been releasing uh, old emotional wounds, old emotional baggage, and that could have put you, um, what well, would have put you in a better place emotionally. Because right after that, you have the Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups is actually one of my cards for family happiness. See the two crows here at the bottom? Okay, this is about being emotionally fulfilled in a family setting, you know, a long-term relationship kids dogs pets whatever um <clears throat> so maybe you let go of something from your past and that brought you more more happiness okay i will clarify <clears throat> because then you have the page of wands uh and this is fire energy okay uh this can be about someone coming towards you with a message or this could have just been your general energy of after after getting rid of these emotions that weren't good for you, it put you in a better place, and now you're kind of moving forward. You know, wands, that's fire energy. It's about energy movement forward, okay? So now going into your current, what do we have? We have eight of pentacles, okay? So you're putting in a lot of work with something. Uh, maybe the new beginnings, um, maybe it's, you know, maybe it has to do with this, um, this transformation card here, okay? Five of Pentacles in reverse with the Eight of Swords. So, You may be, you may have a feeling of abandonment that's giving you some anxiety. So, you know, five of pentacles in reverse. Um, five of pentacles is that feeling of abandonment. It's a feeling of being left out in the cold. Um, this could also, it, it could speak about not wanting to abandon yourself, if that makes sense. Um, you know, after going through this transformation, um, not wanting to, I don't know, disappoint yourself. This one can also, Five of Pentacles can also relate to actual money, financial loss. Maybe you have a, a fear with this Eight of, eight of Swords here, which is anxiety, okay? It's self-imposed anxiety. You might have some fears surrounding money. Like a feeling of you don't have enough money, but you are working hard because you've you've got the eight of pentacles here. This is putting in the work, okay? Putting in the time, putting in the effort. And then in your future, you've got the hangman 
the Six of Pentacles, and the Hermit. So this is interesting because I don't know if I've ever seen the Hangman with the Hermit. All right. The Hangman is taking a step back to gain some perspective, to gain some enlightenment, okay? Um, you know, if you get too close to a situation, you kind of lose your focus. Um, the Hangman is about getting a better look at things from a different perspective. The Hermit... This is Virgo energy, which is you, okay? So you're showing up in your reading. So you start out with the hangman energy here. And as you go through, uh, you know, a period of time, you go into the hermit energy, which is your energy, okay? And the hermit, you know, that's a, it's also a card of enlightenment, all right? It's a, it's a more spiritual card for me. It can be formal meditation. It can be any way that you relax. It's kind of like to, 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 to listen to yourself, to listen to your higher self, similar to the high priestess. Um, to find your own enlightenment instead of relying on other people. So you're getting your, your knowledge and your information about yourself from yourself, okay, internally rather than externally, if that makes sense. Okay. Now you may be, you know, going within and, and the hangman as well to gain some perspective on what, you know, some pain from the past, okay, with this Three of Swords in reverse and the Hierophant in reverse. But I do feel you are in this transformation energy. It's a healing energy. There's a lot of this right now and a lot of uh, the readings I've been doing, uh, a lot of them have to do with healing, uh, healing old wounds, healing past pains, um, bringing those things up to the surface so you can kind of, you know, be done with them. I'm going to run these through. Um, I did clear them, but I'm going to run them through my incense here. Okay. I'm going to start out at the center of your reading, this Five of Pentacles in reverse, which could be, you know, uh, feeling that you don't have enough money. Uh, we'll see what this is about. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles. Why else? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Tell me more. King of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. So I do feel it's about instability. Uh, it's leaning towards financial instability. Um, you know, the King of Pentacles coming in here is is extremely stable, financially stable, loyal. You know, puts in the work, dependable. And the Two of Wands is looking f looking for for the right path, okay? Uh, this could be career related, almost like you're you're looking maybe to, to switch jobs, um, change careers, that type of energy, so that you won't feel like you're in a place of, of lacking enough money, okay? A better job, a better career, you know, be better off, make more money, that type of thing. So let me go, I'm gonna go back to your past energy, I'm gonna go over to this Eight of Cups here. Um, which is, you know, walking away from some emotional trauma, regrets, pain from the past. Why is the Eight of Cups here, please? Uh, okay. All right, so the Eight of Cups is being clarified by the Two of Cups. It makes sense because it feels like it's this. Okay, 
the breakup of a of a committed relationship, the breakup of a relationship you thought would be there forever, but but it's not going to be there forever um, for whatever reason. Okay, I'm going to get another one. One more, please. Well, two more came out. So, okay, so yeah. Eight of Cups being clarified by the Two of Cups. <clears throat> Queen of Cups and the Five of Cups, okay? Look at all these cups. Wow. Queen of Cups, very intuitive. Let me put my cards down. You know, I could really use another hand while I'm doing readings. <laughs> um, Eight of Cups being clarified by Two of Cups. Very close love connection, okay? You you may call this person your twin flame or you may call them your soulmate, you know, your, your forever person. And the ending of this, so, you know, you've got the Queen of Cups here and she's she's the Queen of Love, okay? You had a lot of love for this person. And the ending of this put you in this five of cups this is regret sadness the feeling of loss um and this is why all of this baggage this you know pain um had to go okay all right let me go ahead and see now why then we have so then we have we go from all of this the pain the loss um, the emotional overload, and then you move into the Ten of Cups. <laughs> so let's see. If you if you release those emotions, it would make you feel better and put you in this. But this is usually my family happiness card here, okay? The other explanation is that this didn't, the relationship didn't end, but there was something that changed or there was a big struggle back in this energy and you worked through that with with your person and then you know it created happier space happier energy more loving energy okay so that's also possible ten of cups is being clarified by the king of cups so now you have the queen of cups and the king Mr. and Mrs. Love, okay? Um, this person who you're in this relationship with could be um, a water sign. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Very emotionally grounded. They don't always show their emotions, but very emotionally grounded, emotionally stable, okay? The queen is more intuitive than the king, uh, but both of, both emotionally stable energies. Why else is this ten of cups here? <clears throat> Ace of pentacles. <laughs> Why is the ace of pentacles here? Let me get another one. Why is that ace here? Seven of wands. Yeah, I mean, I feel like some of you, this may have just been you fighting for this relationship, fighting to keep this relationship alive because it's what makes you happy, okay? Let's go and see what this Page of Wands is about. It could be a new communication that came in. could be you wanting to speak with somebody. could just be speaking of your energy, uh, you know, feeling passionate about a new beginning. Why is the Page of Wands here? Page of Wands being clarified by the Ace of Wands. That is a perfect expansion of energy. You go from the page and you move up a level, you notch up a level to the Ace. New beginnings, new passion. Um, new spark of energy. Let's see, why else? Why else is the page here? The world. Okay, so the world, this is an ending of a cycle. So I feel like, and, and it's also a, a beginning of a new cycle. 
<coughs> excuse me. I feel like at this point, the energy shifted into this transformation energy, this new, new beginnings, okay? New, a new start, a fresh perspective. Let's go towards your current energies, Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Yep. The Lover's card, Gemini energy. Putting a lot of work into this connection, into this relationship now. Pouring all of your time and effort and energy into this connection. You know, every time I've done a general reading this week, it's turned into a love reading. Just throwing that out there. It, it's just been the craziest thing. I've never had this happen. Okay, let me get another one. Wow, that was... Okay. So now we have the Five of Wands. That can be some conflict. That one I don't care for. Let me get another one. Why is that Five of Wands here? What's that about? Why is that Five of Wands here? Temperance. Okay. Now we have Temperance coming in. Divine timing, divine energy, patience, balance love forgiveness okay you let's see eight of pentacles the lovers five of wands with temperance you may still have some struggles with this and i feel like this is saying here in this love connection okay the lovers there's going to be conflicts, okay, and you've already had them, but try to have some patience, okay? Try to have more patience um, in this connection, all right? Because there may be times where you get kind of confrontational, perhaps. All right, so let's go down. Eight of Swords. Why is... Why is the Eight of Swords here? Eight of Swords is being clarified by the Eight of Cups in reverse. So at this point, those, those emotions from the past, that baggage, still on your mind, still giving you some anxiety. Eight of Swords, Ace of Cups in reverse. Now, the, the Eight of... I always say Ace. I don't know why. It's supposed to be Eight, and I say Ace. <laughs> Um, I know what the card is, but for some reason I say ace. Drives me nuts. Um, that is a letting go of those past emotions, but I don't know why you'd have anxiety over that. Let's see. Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's a... You've, some of you feel it's a struggle at times, but why? Why is that a struggle? Why? Why is that a struggle? The Fool. Afraid to take a leap of faith. There may still be some emotions that need to be let go of, okay? For some reason, some of you might be hesitating to do that. A hesitation to move forward with something. And it's almost like you're fighting it, okay? Nine of Wands. With the Fool in Reverse. That's Aries energy. Or maybe it's just you thinking about what happened in the past and having a hard time moving past it. Okay. I'm going to go over to your future energy. The Hangman. Spirit, why is the hangman here? He's just fast. Eight of wands in reverse. So that is a stoppage of energy, which is exactly what the hangman is. Yep. The hangman being clarified by eight of wands in reverse. And the moon card, okay, this is Pisces energy. And I said before, there's a lot of energy right now of healing deep wounds, shadow work going within to 
to to dig out things that you know we shove down like you know you shove things down not not just you but i mean everybody and we think that shoving them down will just make it go away but what happens is they might go away for a little bit they will resurface something will trigger you and it'll all come back so if you acknowledge what those things are you can deal with them and heal them okay the moon illuminates things that cannot normally be seen okay it can also speak of secrets keeping secrets i don't normally take it that way once in a while but this is you with that hangman energy taking a step back and th and saying like okay i have to you know there's stuff i need to do here within myself okay that i need to deal with six of pentacles this one is about balance equal give and take why is the six of pentacles here i've had this card a lot in my readings also two of Two of swords in reverse okay so that's coming to a decision about balance oh god queen of wands in reverse queen of wands that's fire energy aries leo sagittarius why is she here what is she doing here why is the queen of wands here wow six of pentacles again and this happened the other day i swear it is crazy There may be some kind of imbalance with a, 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 a person who is older than you. They could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Uh, you may have come to some, some sort of decision about them. She could also, or he, represent a boss. Um, this is something to do with balance not enough balance in a situation it does balance out though because here oh no that one's not in reverse i was thinking the first one was in reverse you've got six of pentacles from both decks here um which means it's important okay there's there's balance needs to come about somewhere could be related to this queen of wands <clears throat> she could be someone maybe from work or or your personal life and now queen of wands in reverse she's fire okay she's aries leo sagittarius and in reverse she can cut you <laughs> um to say she can get downright nasty when she's in this type of energy okay argue argumentative controlling just okay so I feel like you're going to make some type of decision in regards to this person, okay? In this situation, there's a severe lack of balance. Someone's giving more than the other, okay? Let's clarify the hermit. Oh, we already had one that flipped over for the hermit. Four of Pentacles. It's hanging on. Um... This is a fear energy for me. It's like you're hanging on too tight because you're afraid it's going to disappear. Why else is this here? Why is the Four of Pentacles here with the Hermit? Three of Cups in reverse. What the hey? Why else? Why is this here? Wow. Three of Cups in reverse with the Three of Pentacles. <coughs> Okay, so this situation with this relationship that may have ended or, you know, turbulent in the past, whatever this is, could have been, uh, it could involve third party energy here. Um, there's a, it's like going into the hermit mode because you're being a you're afraid of cards down again out of a fear so i don't know there could be so the three of cups is in reverse okay but then we have the three of pentacles in the upright which speaks of so this is 
in the upright, it's gathering with friends, family, or it can be too many people in this situation. Okay, there's three people here. Um, but it's in reverse. And then three of pentacles, same type of energy. This is about, this is more of a friendship card or working on stability, okay? Working on keeping something stable. This four of pentacles is a, it's a, it's a fear energy, okay? It's, it's like you're hanging on for dear life. You, so either there was a third party situation or is a third party situation or you're just afraid that there will be, okay? For some reason, you might have insecurities around this. If you're in this relationship, you may be afraid of them hooking up with somebody else or leaving you and, you know, or hooking up with them while they're with you and then leaving you for them, that kind of thing, okay? Okay, let me clarify or not clarify, let me get advice from Spirit. I need my other deck for that. I need more room is what I need on this table. <laughs> so, okay. Spirit, what advice do you have? Okay, it wasn't done yet. Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, so do not, no arguments. Okay. Try not to argue. What else? What advice do you have for Virgo, please? King of Pentacles, stability. Uh, what else? So that's your energy also. Queen of Swords in reverse. Hmm. What else? Queen of Cups. Second Queen of Cups on the table in your reading. Ace of Cups. So working on your own stability, okay, I feel maybe there's a message of don't be so dependent on, on a relationship, um, you know, because you're perfectly capable of being stable yourself, of, you know, uh, becoming financially independent. <clears throat> there may be some, so there's a Queen of Swords in reverse but this is advice for you so this is about you there may be something you need to tell somebody okay you may need to tell them how you really feel it, it came in here with this queen of cups which you already have on the table okay so you may need to tell somebody how you really feel about a situation or about them okay ace of cups in reverse now, this is um, nothing going on here emotionally. Nobody's offering anybody anything. Uh, let's see if I get it. What else, Spirit? Seven of Pentacles again. Putting in the, the effort, the time, uh, and the work. Okay. Ooh, devil on the bottom of the deck with the emperor in reverse. Mm -mm -mm. With the seven of swords. Okay. So I do feel like this is a very healing energy for you right now. Okay. You're all on different timelines. All right. So this energy isn't set in, you know, the past, present, future. It's not all set in stone. You know, you have free will. The energies can be reversed or switched. Take it as it resonates. Um, but I really feel like you are in this transformation, okay? There's a reason why this is happening. It will transform you. And what happens when it transforms you, you know, when we go through difficulties, uh, as hard as they are, whew, they're hard. Um, that this transformation it's it's really going to free you in a lot of ways um, and i f I feel that really strongly for you 
And I'm not sure why, Virgo. I get this card a lot. Um, but for you, I don't know. There's something, there's just a different feeling to this card. Um, both of these transformation and freedom you know transforming like that changing what needs to be changed within ourselves and in our life it is very freeing it will free us up okay we're we're getting rid of past pain past hurt worries anxieties doubts insecurities you know um and it's a very freeing feeling because then you're trusting in the universe that you know, it's all happening for a reason. There's nothing really to worry about, okay? So I hope this helped for some of you Virgos out there. If it did, I would appreciate a like. Smash that like button. Um, I'm a newer channel. I'm trying to get my, my likes up. I'm trying to get my subscribers up as well. If you're not subscribed, come join us. Um... That way you'll be notified when I upload new readings for Virgo, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have a great weekend, guys, okay? Uh, I'll also be doing um, your love reading. Probably not tonight. Probably uh, not until tomorrow afternoon, okay? Everybody take care. Thanks again. Bye-bye.